Hi everyone, so patch 1.1.1 is coming up and with it quite some substantial changes to some of the classes. In particular, sorcerers and barbarians get some pretty sizable buffs. The other classes, not so much, but there are some little tidbits here and there. In general, it's a pretty massive like buff patch that we're seeing here in like week three or so of season one. And I think it's definitely something to look forward to. Overall, what you need to know is that a lot of the classes are moving closer together so especially the builds within the class move closer together now this patch mostly buffs sorcerers and barbs but they are not suddenly becoming like the top classes so in general i would actually say that my personal ranking for the classes overall not just going by like one build or something but the overall performance is unchanged so the best class is the druid the second is the rogue the third is the necro mostly because of the hearts right now the fourth the barb and the fifth the sorcerer and i don't think that is actually changing but sorcerers do get some big buffs they become more tanky across all of their builds there are some other improvements and some of their weaker builds get a buff so for example if you look at our end game tier list here if you filter by uh sorg uh, so we have sorg generally quite far down they are simply kind of squishy they kind of suffer from not being able to skin armor very well they suffer from just not really having that much damage output as uh, other classes. They are pretty good on other aspects though. For example, in speed farming, when it's about optimized end game blasting, sorcerers are actually pretty good because the low damage doesn't really matter so much, the low toughness doesn't really matter so much, and they go very fast later on with, you know, teleporting around every three seconds or something like that. So if instead of at the end game tier list, we take a look at the speed farming tier list that is designed for this high-end blaster mode you see there's actually a lot of sorcerers up there already this is pre-patch right now so you're going to see the updated tier lists very soon but we had our meetings lately and we discussed what is going to happen and well not too much overall but one thing that we've definitely noticed is that a lot of the builds that are really far down are actually getting some improvements so for example fireball is like the most prominent buff of this patch this one gets I don't know, five, six, eight separate like improvements. I don't know exactly a lot of stuff that make Fireball a much better build than it is right now. Now, given it starts at a very low point in F tier, and I think we have it moved down uh, up to like C tier and still one of the worst Sorcerer builds, but there's going to be a lot of stuff in C tier, for example, for the Sorks. So within the class, there's yeah, some kind of like shining examples like the Blizzard build that is really powerful. Eye shots is pretty good, but uh, then you have a lot of other builds that are actually really close together. And I think this is really the strength of this patch. Now, of course, there's still work to be done in future patches. I imagine that we're going to see some kind of like, you know, buff to sorcerers across the board. And that is relatively easy to do. They can buff some of the, you know, main class aspects. They can buff some of the glyphs. They can buff the paragons. They can buff passes on the skill tree that basically every build uses, etc. So there's definitely some ways to kind of just lift up the entire class. I think that's also kind of what the devs have um, mentioned in one of the campfire updates where, you know, they're trying to like improve the intra-class balance and then try to balance out the classes as a whole. And it's just definitely what we are seeing here. It's going to be a bit similar for the barbs as well. So if you filter by barb, so we have uh, the whirlwind kind of up here and then the other builds a bit behind. And yeah, Whirlwind is not be getting anything. Hoda gets a small buff. Uh, Walking Arsenal gets a, a small buff. Uh, Rend as well gets a bit of a buff. And they are probably all just kind of like move closer together now as well. And then there is a double swing, which right now we have quite far down, but it actually turns out as a pretty decent build, fully optimized, at least on season with the hearts. It is actually fairly good. And that is actually going to get a substantial buff on top of that. So that is actually probably becoming the best map build now. So we'll see. But there's definitely also some stuff to look forward to for the barbs, in my opinion. Personally, I'm playing the Walking Arsenal barb right now, the so-called Kratos barb. Having a lot of fun with that on my Eternal barb, actually, because I never finished that build. I managed to get to, like, level 90, and then Season 1 started. So I'm just, like, about finishing that and trying to see if I can do a T100 with this. But barbs overall seem kind of okay for me right now. So that's the TLDR for the important class changes, at least, Barbarian and Sorcerers, that we have been looking for in this patch. For the other classes, there are a few small things, like especially the fossil arrow here, for example, for the rogue is going to be interesting. Uh, the necromancers get some unique buffs with uh, Sever in particular, and then there's 
yeah, some small stuff for the druids. Nothing really crazy. Most of the early game gets beefed up a little bit with the generators and the companions. So that was kind of nice. But druids, being the best class right now, don't really need much help anyway. Now, I've recorded this video now before the final patch notes are out. Or, you know, the, the patch is out. So there might be undocumented changes. There might be last minute changes that they have not told us about. I expect that what we see here in this uh, patch notes block is probably 99% what we're going to see in the patch. But you never know. In particular, I would expect that the bug fix section might actually um, be expanded a little bit. Uh, there are still a bunch of broken builds out there that are just like doing, you know, 100 times the damage they should or something like that. We'll see what will happen to those. Maybe in a future patch they're going to go through and just fix them all at once or something like that. I guess we have seen the reign of some of those builds last way too long. So I hope that is getting addressed very soon. Now, while this patch will not really bring like this huge swing in power for some of the classes that some people might have hoped for, like Sorcerer still being kind of the lowest class, they definitely are much improved. They are definitely way closer to the other classes now. And I think they're going to be just fine. I've been playing a Sorcerer lately, level 8 to 100. I did tier 100 with two different builds. Then um, now we're going to start a new one on patch day. So I'm quite excited to play Sorcerer again, actually, to, with another two builds. So we'll see. And it's not really something to really feel bad about, in my opinion. One big thing to look forward to for this patch overall, though, are the Nightmare Dungeon changes. So I already have recorded another video talking about that in more detail with uh, the monster density changes and the boss health changes. Now, the boss health changes are going to make it a bit more of a struggle for some of those classes in some of those builds that don't have really high single target damage. But they are kind of massively increasing monster density. At least that's the expectation. Based on the screenshots that we have seen, something like 40, 50, 60% or so, that will be a pretty noticeable increase in farming efficiency, in leveling speed, etc. So let's see how this will play out. And I think that's going to make it much more exciting across the board, together with those class balance changes. I'm going to keep you guys updated with more stuff post-patch. There's going to be a lot of stuff to discuss, a lot of stuff to show. And I'm also quite excited to try out the new Fireball and the Chain Lightning Sorceress. So that's what I'm going to start with for this patch. Let me know what you're going to do. Maybe you also have some cool new build in mind that now suddenly becomes more exciting or more playable. So I'll be quite curious to hear what are your plans. Other than that, wish you good luck and see you guys next time.